shows, then you can have a mystery hostess show every month if you wanted to. You, um, if you meet some people out or you're at a family dinner, whip some jewelry trays out. <laughs> <laughs> Have a hundred dollars in sales. Run some specials if you need to to qualify that as a show. If you know, if you've got some people there that have been to tons of shows or something, say, hey, I'll give y'all twenty percent off tonight. I'm trying to make a goal. Why don't y'all play through my jewelry and see what you want? Um, so they can do that. A mystery hostess show is um, there's no set hostess. You basically organize a jewelry party, um, and you can give incentives for people coming. Um, like bringing guests, you can give tickets for bringing guests, you can give tickets for every $50 that you spend, you get a ticket, um, you book a party with me, you'll get tickets, listen to an OP, you'll get tickets. So you're just going to give them all kinds of incentives to get tickets and then at the end of the party you're going to draw a name or draw a ticket and somebody there is going to get the free jewelry like they were the hostess. Okay, so you're basically drawing a name. The only thing about a mystery hostess is you can't do the two $50 gift cards. Okay, just the 30% in free jewelry. Because the gift cards are what hostesses earn, and since they really didn't know they were a hostess until they got there, they really didn't earn those. Now, if she goes out and finds three people and puts shows on your calendar, we can give her that $50 gift card <laughs> if she wants to earn it real quick. But the pre-sales and setting the date, you definitely can't do that one so personal home shows mystery shows we can have those on our calendar every single month okay um java and jewelry use that as an opportunity to share a premiere if you're brand new the first thing you want to do is find your running buddy all right it's so much fun to do this with somebody and to earn that quick start with them and just kind of accomplish all those goals with Premier, like you're just doing it with your friends. So find you a running buddy to do this with. And one of the best ways to find you a running buddy is to have you a little job in jewelry. And basically that's just an, a night where you're gonna show a couple of pieces of jewelry, but your focus is really gonna be sharing the Premier opportunity. Okay, but you're gonna do it. Your sponsor can come and do it for you. If, if, I'm sure whoever your sponsor is, they are willing to do that. And um, as long as you have $100 in sales, because a lot of times at the Job and Jewelries, we offer as an incentive and a thank you for people coming, we say, pick anything you want at half price. And then anything else you can get at 20% off. And so it just helps people to come because they may have had their eye on that watch and now they're gonna be able to come and they're gonna sit through your little opportunity presentation so they can get their watch at half price, but you never know if they might be interested. So that can be a show. Um, ask your hairdresser if you can just put your jewelry up at the salon one day for a couple of hours and um, turn that into a jewelry show. All right. Um, and of course, this month is March on a Mission, so there are all kinds of people that are looking to raise money. Mission trips are huge in the summer, okay? I know when I went on mission trips to Honduras, they were always, they had teams coming in there every single week um, during the summertime. So right now is when people are raising their money to go on mission trips. I know I've had three just this month to raise money just for mission trips, but there are so many other organizations. You know, if you see people on Facebook say, hey, we're doing a fundraiser for this, or this family needs some help, I, a lot of times I'll see that and I'll message them, say, hey, I'd love to help you. I'd love to do help in other shows, and we can get some people together, get some orders. We can do it on Facebook, and um, we can raise some money for that by doing a jewelry show. And you can determine how much you donate, how much of your profit you donate to that fundraiser but don't leave those um, on the table go after those when you see somebody in need use your business to help that person and it also allows you to meet some new people okay so I hope that gives you some ideas on how to think a little bit outside the box and put some different things on your calendar this this year Woo! Woo!